that? Well, actually a few were there yesterday, but it was just a hearing in chambers. It's not going to be the kind of turnout we expect on Tuesday or whenever opening statements are. And I don't expect that there will be that kind of a turnout every day during this trial because, you know, these folks work, they work during the day, and people don't have time to spend all day outside the courtroom or lining up for the few coveted public seats in the courtroom. There will be a presence, I'm sure, every day of fans and a good turnout on the first day. The, for the preliminary hearing in January that lasted six days, especially those first few days, it was an amazing turnout. The Justice for MJ folks were represented. They had placards, they had banners, they had uh, each had a section of the sidewalk, and I remember going down and just writing the list of countries that were represented, countries. Uh, and uh, it was quite a turnout. This is a very organized group, and you know, they credit themselves with uh, mobilizing their forces, tens of thousands of fans, even within just the state of California, to vote um, against the current district attorney, Steve Cooley, when he ran for attorney general of the state of California. And he didn't lose by much. He lost by a fraction of votes, just like 15,000 votes or something, a fraction of a percentage point. And uh, they like to think that they're, they're the ones who pushed the, the election in the direction of the uh, ultimate victor, Kamala Harris. Gene Casares also 